Uh, this uh, essay is a, an interesting test or exercise uh, that I would like you to use with a friend of yours, a family member, somebody you work with. And, and it's a very simple test and the rules are very simple also. And you, you need to when you read the essay. You need to follow the rules exactly as they're stated, but they're very simple. Just get a piece of paper, fold it in half, and on the left-hand side of the, of the page, I write down me from me at the top of a column. And on the other column, on the other side of the paper, me from you. And then under each of those top headings, just write one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Give it to the person that is going to participate in this little experiment and then say to them under the first column on the left hand side, I want you to write down five words or short, short phrases. I don't want paragraphs. I just want one or two words that describe that person, not physically describe that person. I don't want a, a physical description of what that person does for a living that person's age, that person's medical conditions. I don't want any of that. What I want is a description of who that person is, who that person is inside of who they are. Um, do not allow the person to, I mean, they, they, many of them will say, are these going to be positive or negative things about me? Do not answer that question. Just repeat. Follow these simple rules. Do, do, do. Just write five words down. While they're writing these, these words down, you have plenty of time to write five things that describe who that person is. Um, I've given this test out for decades. And I've found... Um, most of the time, asking a person to describe who they are, you know, kind of as a person inside of who they, I mean, who they are as a person, it seems to tax their, their mental abilities. I mean, they will spend, I mean, I've had people spend five and 10 minutes to come up with five words. Um, it will take you 15, 20 seconds to fill out your side of that person's, but you do this on your own little piece of paper, cover the paper up, put it down, and then just sit back and wait till the person's finished. Um, as I said, don't, only give them the instructions. They cannot, I mean, they, many will say, are these positive or negative? Do not answer it, just simply say, write down five words. Then when they're finally finished, you give them the piece of paper that you have and they write down the five things that they just, you describe them as. And then look at the ratio, ratio between positive and negative. The second thing you want to do is to draw lines between those things that that person wrote down and the things that you wrote down about that person, you know caring person, you know, likable, loving, whatever. And they don't have to be exact words, but things that are similar, tie those together. And then look, have that person, the or participant, look at that list and see what the ratio was between what you saw in that person and what that person sees in themselves. Human beings have a, um, are able to do a lot of things. You know, uh, and they, many times they do them very, very well. In 30 or 40 years, I've seen very few people do this little exercise well. 
it is difficult for human beings to look at themselves from the outside and say, this is who I am. Um, when I was in high school, I had to memorize poetry and prose a couple hundred lines each semester for four years. Hated the test, the task. It just drove me crazy. I didn't like memorizing poetry. Once I got out of high school and got it into the real world, what was interesting is that there's a day, not a day goes by, not a single day that I don't use something I memorized 50 years ago. And one of the things I memorized was a poem by Bobby Burns. And in the poem, he says, it would be some power to gift to give us to see ourselves as others see us. What he's saying in, in this kind of Scottish dialect is it, it's, it's a gift that, that it would be wonderful if we could possess to be able to see ourselves as others see us. And his point and my point of this essay is an outsider sees the participant in this little test better and more clearly than the person that is taking the test. I tell you for 30 or 40 years, rarely does a person run the list uh, very similar to yours. And, and the interesting thing is if, if it's a family member, supposing it's a, you know, if you're, you know, supposing it's your mother or your father and you had three or four children and they were taking these, these four kids or doing this test on one of their parents, you compare the outside observers list with each other's other outside observers list and they are going to be very, very similar. Unfortunately, the children's list of a parent or vice versa is not going to be as in harmony with the list of the outside observer. So um, do this test with um, spouses, with kids, with relatives, with people you work with, friends, because people need to know who they are. Randy Potts says um, in his last lecture, always compliment a person for the things that you appreciated that they did for you or how they acted. It, and, and he said this in his last lecture, nine months later, he is dead, but he taught me a lesson about those who've done the dance with death. Go around and talk to the people who you know and tell them who they are from your vantage point. They may disagree, but tell them that you and Bobby Burns are correct. It would be a gift to be able to see ourselves as others see us. In the meantime, you take care. Good luck.